hi and thank you so much for watching today I decided I was going to do my eyebrow routine and I haven't done one since I started my channel so I figured you know maybe I should start doing videos on just the little things that I do off camera that way I can just link it in all of my other videos and then if someone's interested in watching it then they can check out that video today I thought I would do my eyebrow ritual for all of you I've been doing my own eyebrows for several years now I had a really bad experience this friend actually swore by this place and said oh you should go and have your eyebrows done there it's amazing blah 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 and so when I was on break from work one day I decided oh you know I'll go get my eyebrows done really quick and then go back to my shift and that'll be that long story short went to this place that my friend recommended and they ended up removing like half of my eyebrow and I had to go back to work like that and I was devastated so luckily I was working at a mall at the time and I just went to my local benefit bar and they fixed my eyebrow right up and that was that I went on using benefit browsing for the longest time but recently I just started using a different product and my eyebrows have been looking totally different so I thought I would share what I'm doing now that way if I ever do a video and I'm not showing how I do my eyebrows, we can always reference this video. I start off by using this mini brush here from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I got this at Planet Beauty. Yeah, I really like it. I feel like I get a lot of control from it. What's nice with that is that it has the spoolie on one end and then the little angled brush on the other. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush out my brows and get the hair to kind of go in the shape that they naturally would. And I don't know if I've ever mentioned this in any of my videos, but I will a lot of the times do the right side of my face with my right hand and the left side of my face with my left hand. This was something I've done ever since I was a little girl and I haven't been able to shake the habit. Yeah, it's kind of awkward. Anyways, so this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade and I use it in the color Soft Brown. And so usually what I do is I just take a little bit of my product and I kind of just like rub it in the cap like this but mine dried out super fast i don't know if when i picked it up it was just old product from the store but it was like a no return policy so i just kind of dealt with it but luckily on the anastasia beverly hills instagram they actually showed that if you ever have really really dry pomade like this all you have to do is add a little bit of baby oil and mix it in and it'll be just fine and that's what i've been doing for a while now so but it works it works just as as well so no big deal i already have some product with the oil inside the cap here and i am just taking the top part of the angled brush so right here and swirling it into the cap to get some product and now i'm going to do little strokes um, on the bottom part of my eyebrow So all I'm doing is following the shape of my brow. I'm not trying to create a new shape. And I'm just doing like little, little swishing motions, like little strokes, like hair strokes in my brows. Now I'm gonna pick up some more product and I'm gonna add it to the top part of my brow. Again, I'm just following the shape here and doing little stroking motions. Kind of fill that in. And now I'm going to actually really define the line on the top. I'm 
And it's okay if you mess up because I'm gonna show you how to clean up your brows if you do. But the best way to use this product is if you do little motions. You don't wanna do long, big ones. I mean, if you have the control in your hand, you can. But I have the shakes for my coffee, so this is the best way to go right now. Now, if you've noticed, I only picked up product twice, at the very beginning and then when I wanted to start the top. So I don't have any new product on this brush right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line right here on the bottom, like ever so lightly, just to connect. And just kind of drag that product up into my brow so it's really light. So this is just giving my brow like a nice little ombre effect. Um, I used to have awful brows. Um, I used to have like very strong brow definition right in here. I used to just use shadow and that was that. And I was scary for a while. So um, I find this way is a little bit more natural for me. I feel more comfortable with my brows having just a little bit of product right here in the front. I don't care if it's messy. I don't care if I have like some long straggly hairs. I mean, the messy look is kind of a thing right now. So I just go with it. Um, yeah. So I'm just kind of brushing down the product and I'm not gonna lie, I actually did a pretty good job for a one-time thing. No tricks here, other than doing really small strokes using a little bit of product because for this pomade, a little bit does go a long way. Now that I like the shape of my brow, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This stuff is magic and I just, I actually have a little bit in like a little canister like this. It's just easier for me to use. And I'm going to take this brush. This is a professional concealer brush from e.l.f. Cosmetics. Got this a while ago and it's just like the perfect little brush to do any kind of fixing up with my eyebrows. It is synthetic so it's just, it picks up the product really nicely and it has a lot of control because it's, it's kind of stiff at the tip. So I'm just taking a little bit of product on my brush and what I'm going to do is little back and forth motions right underneath just to really clean up and define my brows. So. What's nice too is that since I don't get my brows done anymore, I just tweeze them myself. And I just kind of clean them up. If I ever do have any hairs that probably shouldn't be there or whatever, this trick kind of helps conceal that as well. So you can't see them besides them. So now I'm really defining the tops of my brow. I'm just using the flat end of the, of the brush. and following the shape that I created with the pomade. is to make sure that when you're ready to do your foundation or any other makeup that you make sure that this concealer is really well blended you don't want to see like this bright line around your eyebrows but what's nice is that it does give it a nice highlight nice definition so to finish it off I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel and what this does is this just holds my eyebrows in place I do have longer hairs on my eyebrows, so this will just really lock it in and keep the look that I just created. And that's it. So you can see my before. And my after. 
right, well, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this little tutorial um, helped anyone who's never used this pomade before. I know that I had to watch a few videos before I bought it myself, but after playing with it, I kind of found my own technique and what I like to do in order to control the product and really get the look that I want. So it really does just take some practice. If you don't use the pomade, I highly suggest it. But then again, some people prefer pencils, some people prefer using powder. It really is up to you. I just find that this is what works for me right now. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and see you later. Bye.